afternoon. Tonight, it'll be the Detroit Pistons going up against the Dallas Mavericks. Looking at the starting five for the Dallas Mavericks. Manning the backcourt, it'll be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Dwight Powell out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. Probably be something of a chess match, don't you think, Greg? Both these squads love to run intelligent half-court strategy. Yeah, you can expect to see some interesting playmaking as these squads try to open each other up and create opportunities to score. Now, we'll look at Dallas's starting lineup. A backcourt pair will be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Then there's Reggie Bullock. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Finney Smith in at the four. Powell against Bogdanovich. Now the pass to Bagley. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Here's Finney Smith. Pass to Powell. Dallas moving the ball around. Just five on the clock. Fires the three. And it's Bullock missing. Ball's not loose. Now, here's Ivy. Pass to Hayes. Flying his luck from deep. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Dinwiddie. Passes it to Bullock. The three. Doesn't go for him. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Here's Hayes. And that one is off. Dinwiddie with some nice D. Out to Doncic. There's the pass to Bullock. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. So this guy has been elite as a passer since he entered the league. He takes pride in making the guys around him better. He's the pass to Bagley. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Shoots over Bullock. And again, it's the Pistons missing. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Here's Doncic. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. It's his first trip to the line. And he hit his foul shots a season ago at about a 74% clip. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And with Doncic in the pick and roll game, he's so good at such a young age. It's amazing how well he reads the defense. But he can also freeze the defender or create confusion with that hesitation. He has all the tricks to run it. All free throws good from Doncic. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. And Hayes kicks to Bay. Pass to Ivy. Now here's Hayes. Guarded by Doncic. Now Hayes. Over to the wing. Bay wide open, and he fires. No good with the wing jumper. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Here's Doncic. Pass to Dinwiddie. Let's it go with a three. Rebound, Detroit. Here's Ivy. Gets it to fall from the right block. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. Doncic dishes to Dinwiddie. Now, here's Bullock. He's tightly guarded. At the elbow, Doncic. Lock at six. Here's Dinwiddie. And a miss there on the triple. Not 
quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Bogdanovich inside. Guarded by Doncic. Bogdanovich. The first thing that comes first to mind is the ability to catch and shoot. First but he's a guy that can also create off the bounce. To me, he's one of the most underrated players in the game today. Boyan has the handle to create separation for a quality shot. He's tremendous on the backboards. He plays really solid defense. He works hard every single night. Super competitive. Just a guy you want on your side. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And Greg, beyond the lottery picks, this Pistons team has a lot of young players looking to make a name for themselves. Second round picks are guys let go by their first team. There's an underdog quality to the roster. Guys hungry to prove they belong. And so he makes both from the line. Boy, what a season 2022 was for the Dallas Mavericks, making it all the way to the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, the huge upset over the Suns turned that season into what was a dream run early in Luka Doncic's career. Now, here's Dinwiddie. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Bay. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. That's a double win, you guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And with the Mavs, a trip doors to the conference finals puts them ahead of schedule, many people think. Yes, Kevin, but I don't think you can let that momentum you built last year fade in any way. You've got to keep your foot on the gas pedal. We know how fragile success in the NBA is. You've got a top five player on your roster. You have to make sure you're taking advantage of opportunities. And the foul called on Killian Hayes. First, first That's his foul. first foul. Team second. Bullock passes to Doncic. Finney Smith gets to Dinwiddie. Six on the shot clock. It's through for a second basket. He's now two for six. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. Passes it to Ivan. Now Bay. And there's the pass to Hayes. To the wing right side. Misses the three. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for Dallas. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Detroit's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Pass to Hayes. Trying to find Bagley and get to two him. And it's blocked. Beautiful defense from Powell. Uses that impressive length to come away with that rejection. Doncic outside, and here's Bullock from the arc. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Three points. Bullock's got five. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Gotta fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now, here's Bogdanovich. And finished off by Bagley. The great timing there. Bagley gets off the ground so quickly. Gives the defense no chance to react. And it sure can feel discouraging at times. So Detroit ends up going with the new group. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Dwight Powell. Christian Wood comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Josh Green's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Dinwiddie. Wood trying to free himself up. And that Green. one's good. Green. And the Mavericks lead by three. And looking at the Pistons' recent performance break, which end would you want to see improve first? Kevin, I'd have to say defense. More stops means more chances in the open floor. And, and it would help them keep games competitive. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. 
Dallas moving the ball around. Green with the ball. Got a piece of it, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by McGee. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. The Pistons shooting in this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. And here is Duran. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Burks, the pass delivers. On the clock. Here the three-point line. It's Joseph. Doncic with the block. Pass to Hardaway. Outside, Green. Passes it to Doncic. McGee trying to break free. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First, that's on Jalen Durham. Yeah, good job to take it right at them. For Dallas, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. Shooting two. That one is off. And he's good on the second. The Mavericks GA have been trying to tighten up their defense the past few seasons. And it's beginning to show. And we're seeing signs that the players are getting the message. And they're spending more energy at that end of the floor. And that's essential for any elite team. Well, you love the cleverness of Alec Burks. My goodness, how remarkable is that into the lane and finish? Out to the right wing. Now here is McGee. Not a lot of room. Works with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Knocked away. It's stolen by Green. And now the fans break. Doncic with the ball. It's hard to weigh that time on the assist by Doncic. Assisted by. And the Mavericks lead by two. Boy, this guy just finds ways to score. Tim Hardaway Jr. able to finish with contact. During the pass to Knox. Shoots it up. It's rebounded by Dallas. Outside Hardaway. Donchich outside. Down low. They kick it out to Green. Five on the clock. Over Joseph. McGee trying to break free. And it's McGee with the jam. It'd be nice if everybody took as much pride in his rebounding as he does. You know what, I, Greg, he loves that part of the game, and it shows. Well, but as defenders keep forgetting to box him out, he continues to just make them pay. Livers the pass it to Burks. Here's Knox, headed by Green. It's stolen by Green. One twenty-four left in the first quarter. Hardaway kicks to McGee. To the inside. Here's Green. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the question for the Mavs is simple. How do you best build around Luka Doncic? They'll try to answer that in the coming years. And Greg, it just seems for the Mavs, it's all about finding the right fit for the role play. Yeah, that's why this team was willing to move on from Porzingis. Going forward, you could see them look a lot like the hard near Rockets. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Green. Noel's checked in for the Pistons. Diallo comes in for Kevin Knox. 
The Mavericks also with a sub. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. 112 left to play in the first quarter. The pass to Diallo. Now, here's Brooks. Pass to Joseph. Five to shoot. From the arc. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Mavericks leading by six. Outside Hardaway. Thirty-four seconds left here in the opening quarter. Wood finds Hardaway. Shoots over Burks. Hardaway, no good. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Pass to Durant. Now here's Burks. Pass to Durant. They get a hand on it. It was Diallo. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many. That hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. Diallo up there with Bay. Then there's Hayes. Then it's Ivy. And it's Noel. And at the pivot spot, man in the middle. They're the group Detroit will start the second with. A break we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, luck can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night believing you'll find a way to win, oftentimes you do. The first free throw is good. And so he hits both. Pistons trail by eight. And the pass to Diallo. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Puts up a three. Dinwiddie with the rebound. And it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for Dallas. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Out to Hardaway. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. Shooting two. That free throw good from Hardaway. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. to me is a terrific all-around player, right? He can score it. He can pass it. He'll rebound the position. There's a lot to like about his game. Hardaway hits them both. Pistons trail by 10. Pass to Diallo. And Noel kicks to Ivy. Hayes the pass to Ivy. Noel with it. To the paint. Shot clock at six. Diallo. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Finney Smith's got his fourth rebound in this one. And the dunk by Powell. Outstanding timing from Powell. Rises up for the forceful alley-oop. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Now Hayes. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. 
Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. Now here is Hardaway. Here's Powell. And it's Noel with the rebound. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. Pass to Finney Smith. Back to Dinwiddie. Now, Kleba. On the wing, Hardaway. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Well, in today's NBA, you've got to be able to play in pick and roll, and Hardaway doing work right there. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. And it's finishes like that which have helped him build this lead here in the first half. Now here's Diallo. Hayes the pass to Bay. Offline with his three. Dallas leading by 10. Here's Dinwiddie. It's rebounded by Hayes. Detroit's gone 0-2 from deeper in the second. Passes to Ivan. Back to Bay. And it goes down two points. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. For Dallas, they've gone 2-4 shooting the ball here in the second. Outside Hardaway. The pass to Powell. A fader. Not going to go that time. And Detroit the other way now. Poked away. Dinwiddie with the steal. And he banks in the layup. Dinwiddie's got four this quarter. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Mavs. They're really mucking things up for the opposition. Racking up steal after steal. Just not letting them develop any kind of offensive rhythm. I think the other thing they're doing is they're wearing out the opponent in transition. Exploding up the floor for easy chances. Off target with his three. Pistons trail by 10. Inside, here's Ivy. Lays it up off the glass. Six points for Jaden Ivy. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Outside Hardaway. Has to finish Smith. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Dinwiddie. Up and in on the lane. Dinwiddie's got ten points in the game. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now, here's Ivy. Six points for him. Over Hardaway. Here's Noel, and slam dunk by Noel. Don't you love how Noel just sticks with it? Never gives up on the possession, working really hard for his guys. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Finney Smith, and there is a whistle. That goes on Hamadou Diallo. That is his first foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And the Mavericks with possession here. Benny Smith passes to Bullock. Passes it to Finney Smith. Outside Hardaway. And it's Hardaway snapping it down. Well, let's see the vertical of Mr. Hardaway. Go ahead, sir. Pretty dunk. And now another look at that great drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Now here's Bagley. Here's JaVale McGee with the rebound. Now here's Bullock. He is covered by Bogdanovich. Bullock with it. He's got five. Hardaway for three. 
does not find the target. That makes him three for five. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. You know, so much of rebounding is about effort, and no lack of that right there. He had to box out and establish great position. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Team four. Shooting for Dallas. Dinwiddie. Spencer. Dinwiddie. Two shots. Taking two shots. The free throw drops for Dinwiddie. A different look here for Detroit. Burks, he's checked in for Ivy. And it's Joseph in for Hayes. Christian Woods checked in for Dallas. Luka Doncic comes in for Hardaway. Both good from the line that time. Pistons trail by 12. The pass to Burks. Bogdanovich with it. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Bullock. Detroit with the rebound. To the middle. Here's Bagley. And finish off by Bagley. I'll tell you, a terrific read from Corey Joseph. He recognizes the overcommitment of the defense and takes advantage. Doncic finds Wood. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The Pistons have gone 6 of 14 shooting here in the second. Burks on the wing. Dinwiddie covering. Bogdanovich looking around. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Doncic. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Now here's Joseph. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and to the free throw line. Christian Wood. The Pistons shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First team five. At the line for your Pistons. Isaiah Livers at the line for two. And the first one drops. Duran, he's checked in for Detroit. And Dallas also making a switch. Green's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Mavericks leading by 10. Doncic bounce pass. And here's Bullock from the arc. Rebounded by the Pistons. And when you look at Burks, when he's feeling good, this guy makes an impact. Well, think about it, GA. Last season was only the second time he's played over 64 games. But he got into a groove. He's proven now that when he's healthy, off the couch, off the bounce, this guy is a very difficult cover. And the Mavericks with possession here, following the bucket by the Pistons. McGee trying to break free. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, Christian Wood has shown himself capable of being a 20 and 10 guy. But now he's looking to show he can be a winner as well. Christian Wood. Two shots. He's off on the first. And you hear about impacting winning? How does Wood, Greg, take the next step in that regard? Well, Kevin, we know he can make shots and block shots. I think it's just about consistency 
and decision making. And, and then defensively, I think he's more than capable. That one is no good. Pistons trail by eight. Down low. Here's Burks. Green with the rebound. And so Green will bring it up for the Mavericks. They've held a 12-point lead early. Pass to McGee. Over Burks. The shot's good from McGee. McGee's got five now always helps to get these kinds of looks, right? Super easy to convert from that distance. Pass to Burks. And here is Duran. Joseph looking around. Six to shoot. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Burks can't get it to go. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Oh, can we get a load of that one? Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boys. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. And Joseph kicks to Bogdanovich. Back to Joseph. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. And Corey Joseph does not lack for confidence on the interior. Don't let the size fool you. The frame, the game, it's all there. Passes it to Bullock. McGee up top. Seven points in the game. And they'll get another chance. Can't hit that one. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. To the paint. And the basket by Livers. Livers has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Pistons. Anjic passes to Green. Now Bullock, a three, goes back up, and the layup good Get by back. McGee. McGee. McGee's got six points in the quarter. Well, this is what he does. Find ways to make his presence felt, and this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. Now here's Bogdanovich. Now the pass to Burks. Near the three-point line, it's Joseph. Well, Luka Doncic more than capable on the defensive end because he has size and smarts, and he sends that one back. Pass to Bullock. He kicks it to Green. And it's off from three-point range. Pistons trail by ten. Burks can't get it to go. We are talking about a clever scorer. Luka Doncic has developed such a knack for getting to the free throw line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. For Dallas, Doncic, Luka Doncic, taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Well, watching Luka Doncic, you see someone who has got extraordinary feel for the game of basketball. Knows when to score it, knows when to pass it. His vision and his big time shot making are all incredible. All free throws good from Doncic. Eight seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Burks. And so it's Dallas. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Mavericks leading by 12. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Jason Kidd. The backcourt pair will be Doncic and Dinwiddie. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then there's JaVel McGee. And it's Finney Smith in at the power forward. Shot clock at five. 
Donjic left side. Here's Powell and the dunk by Powell. You have to love the intensity that Powell plays with on the glass, using that long body to track down those offensive boards. Pass to Bogdanovich. This is a dive. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Pistons keep it alive. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Yeah, nice board there by Bagley. This is where he hangs his head. A great rebounder on both ends. The Pistons shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Shooting one. One shot. That's good from Bagley. And the game Bagley has reminds me a, a little bit of Chris Bosh, a sweet lefty who plays with force and passion. Now, here's Doncic. For three, Bullock. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got five assists in the game. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive Out player. Of You've got to want to work. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And, and this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. And so here is Dallas. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. The pass to Finney Smith. Powell against Bagley. Powell inside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Marvin Bagley picks one up. And Doris, what you like about Dwight Powell is that he doesn't force anything on offense. Just takes what he has available to him. He is the perfect role player playing alongside his teammate Luka Doncic for this reason. Excellent screen setter, a real threat vertically at the cup. What a target for Luka. The free throw drops for Powell. Boy, Dwight Powell is such a hard-playing, athletic big man. He could fit himself into any scheme right now. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Pistons trail by 15. Bogdanovich left side. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Luka Doncic. Bogdanovich has got great size for a guard, which makes defending him very difficult, particularly at that high release point. For Detroit, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Bogdanovich. Now, Boyan Bogdanovich is as well-rounded a basketball player as you'll find. This guy contributes to winning in any number of ways. And so Bogdanovich has both of them. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Dinwiddie outside. Out to Doncic. And they double up Doncic. Pass to Bullock. Shot clock at six. And that one's good. Doncic. Doncic has got eight. What 
a finish by Luka Doncic. Don't underestimate his strength, but Don has got that in his game. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. Still going hard, and that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. Now here's Hayes. Pass dive. Tradition out to Bagley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Second He's a real ball. wrecking ball inside. Once Bagley has solid position, you almost have to foul it. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And you know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Dinwiddie outside. He dishes it to Powell. Dallas moving the ball around. Bullock passes to Doncic. Dinwiddie left side. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. From beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Loud pass to Bagley. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Dinwiddie's shot is off. Pistons trail by 14. Ivy kicks to Bagley. And again, it's the Pistons missing. The Mavericks have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. And he's going up for the alley -oop. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. Boy, what a feel Luka Doncic brings to the game. This guy always willing to get his teammates involved. Bogdanovich passes to Hayes. Here's Ike. Six on the shot clock. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal the Pistons have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. At the line for your Pistons. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. The Pistons making a change here. Diallo's checked in. And then for Dallas. Maxi Kleba comes in for Reggie Bullock. And Hardaway is subbed in for Doncic. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Mavericks leading by 14. Pass to Finney Smith. Outside Hardaway. To the inside. Taken away by Hayes. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Old. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found the temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and... It's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD. Uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. We'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. Hamadou Diallo at the line for one. One shot.
it's Dinwiddie with the ball. Bringing it up now for Dallas. At one point, they led by 16. Get the teardrop. Rebound, Detroit. Hayes has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Benny Smith, first personal foul. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Mavericks. Uh, they made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all game long, and the block total is off the charts. And the other thing for this team today, they have a Take bunch a of second chance Two points. Shots. They're turning misses into makes. That free throw good from Diallo. Erlens Noel checks in for Hayes. Good on both. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. They lead by seven. And there's the pass to Powell. Boy, Powell is proving to be a handful inside. Does a good job utilizing his long arms to get the ball. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Shooting for Dallas. Powell to White Powell. Two shots. The free throw drops for Pop. And so Powell nails both of them. Pistons trail by nine. To Bay. And here's Bagley. Diallo inside. Headed by Hardaway. Pass to Ivan. Lock at six. A second chance effort. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Mavericks leading by nine. Inside. Kleba. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Marvin Bagley picks one up. And when you look at Cleaver, it, for me, his makeup leads you to believe that he's the kind of player you can win with. PA, this guy has the frame. He stands six foot ten, two hundred and forty pounds. He's one of the best defenders in the league, and nobody talks about that. The key for me is: does his confidence remain high? because he can stretch it out to three, and if his confidence doesn't wane, he's a major force. And the first one at the line is good. And he can't hit the second. Pistons trail by 10. Bay passes to Ivy. Back to Bay. This is it to Noel. And the pass to Diallo. Shoots a three. And it's rebounded by Dallas. At one point, they led by 16. Here's Finney Smith. Goes to the reverse layup and taps it in. Finney Smith's got four points in the quarter. That's what you call using your body. Playing a little bully basketball is Dorian Finney Smith. That's to Diallo. Banked in off the glass. Diallo's got seven. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. 
It's a 10-point game. Here's Finney Smith to the wing on the left. Here now is Dinwiddie. And good that time. He's got 14. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, Hot Man is going for the jugular. And slam dunk by Ivy. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Now, here's Dinwiddie. 14 points for him. Powell kicks to Dinwiddie. Lined up there for Powell. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Here's Bay. He's got six. Now, here's Ivy. Here's Bagley. It's rebounded by Dallas. Howell's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now, Dinwiddie over Ivy. Dinwiddie's shot is off. Now, here's Ivy. He's guarded closely. Pass to Bay. And here's Diallo. Out to the right wing. That one a little long. It's really a tale of two quarters. Shot it so well in the last, but this one can't get anything to fall. What you love about Dwight Powell is he has always been willing to mix it up on the interior. This guy is a tremendous athlete and gets it. In for Bagley. Kevin Knox comes in for Sadiq Bay. Alec Burks checked in for Diallo. And it's Joseph in for Ivy. Dallas also making some changes. Christian Wood comes in for Dwight Powell. And Josh Green subbed in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Mavericks leading by 14. Here's Green. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Green. Green's got six. Boy, that's a backbreaker. Takes it right into the rim and extends their lead. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Here's Knox. Joseph with the ball. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Six points for him. So cool under duress of that dwindling clock. Corey Joseph on point. Passes to Green. Now, here's Kleba. Dinwiddie outside. Oh, good with the triple. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Good. Well, you got to think of Kevin Knox as such a skilled Second forward, willing to get himself to the foul line. This At is his line, first free throw of the game. Kevin and Knox from the line the a season ago, 73%. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. On the Mavericks with some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Maxi Kleba. Reggie Bullock comes in for Green. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Dinwiddie. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Doncic. He's got eight. Here's the pass to Bullock. Hard away with it. Burks covering. A minute 50 left here in the third quarter. In the dunk by Doncic. I'll tell you this. Luka Doncic will never turn down an opportunity to finish at the rim. He's elite and loves those opportunities. Now here's Joseph. He's got six. Burks dishes to Noel. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. 
And you know, guys, listen, Noel brings value. The reason he's a menace on the defensive end and an absolute warrior on the glass. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. That's good from Noel. And he makes both free throws. 124 left in the third. Anjic passes to Bullock. Back to Doncic. Loads it up for Wood. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Bogdanovich has checked in for Detroit. 1.15 left in the third quarter of the game. Bullet kicks to Doncic. And it's in there. Doncic has got six in the quarter. I'll tell you, Luka Doncic makes tough shots look easy. Boy, that close to the bucket through that much contact? Nice. Here's Knox. From outside, off the mark. Here's Hardaway. And it's Hardaway slamming it down. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. And the burst of quickness on display with the Mobile One Drive. That's an incredible move by him on what's been an impressive night all around. As to Burks. To the paint, plenty of space. That's good from Joseph on the assist by Burks. Joseph's got eight points. Well, Burks showing he's more than just a scorer. Terrific pass to his teammate. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Wood passes to Bullock. Tipped away. He hits out of bounds. Last touch by Burks. Dallas ball. Six on the shot clock. Here's Doncic. Uh, the quick feet and strong hands of Corey Joseph help on the defensive end. He takes pleasure in shutting down his opponent. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. A look at the field goal. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. They've got Ivy. Sadiq Bey is out there with Durham. Then there's Hayes. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three. That's the group for Detroit right now. Now, here's Ivy. Pass to Durham. Shot from the wing, and that one is good. Durham's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Pistons. Passes it to Hardaway. Back to Doncic. Here's Wood. Shoots over Duran. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Pistons trail by 12. The pass to Ivy. Back to Bay. Kicks it to Hayes. The tray. And it's Jaden Ivy with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Finwood is checked in for Hardaway. Checking in for the Mavericks, Spencer Dinwiddie. Dallas leading by 12. And here is Doncic. A quick shot there, and it's off target. Now here's Bay. He's guarded closer, and he gets it to go. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. And another great look at the 2K drive. And you can just sense his determination, trying to do everything he can to keep this game within reach. 
Now, here's Bullock. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Here's Dinwiddie. Duran pulls it in. Duran's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Bogdanovich, and the lead is down inside single digits. I don't think there's much more you can do. Bogdanovich is too skilled and too strong on these finishes with contact. Pass to Bullock. Here's Wood. Bullock passes to Wood. To the inside. Dinwiddie. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And with more passes like that, we can make things very hard. That'll round out his game. Now, here's Durant. Lobs it up. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. And finished Wood. off by Wood. And not easy Wood. getting Wood off his spot. Even with contact, still able to stay focused and balanced. Now, here's Ivy. Bogdanovich, no luck. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. First personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Dallas. Pull up. Reggie. Pull up. Two shots. Throw good, Bullock, and the Mavericks making a change here. Powell's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Pistons trailed by 14. Hayes, bounce pass. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And they pick up two. That's 12 points for Jaden Ivey. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Pass to Bullock. Now here's Powell. D right on him to the left side wing. Dinwiddie left side. Second shot opportunity. That's tipped. Now here's Bay. Defense is right there. Ivy kicks to Bogdanovich. Passes it to Hayes. Here's Durham. And he goes right over Dwight Powell and slams it down. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. Dallas calls timeout. And team strategies. Sideline reporter David Aldridge. David. Well, I was able to listen in on what Jason Kidd went over with his team. He told them, look, we're in a good spot. The one thing I want you guys to do, stay in the moment. Don't look ahead. Stay in the moment and compete. Kevin, we'll see if they can keep focused. Thank you, David. Here's Hayes. After Luka Doncic's bucket, Ivy passes to Bay. Puts it up from 12. Misses off the right iron. Dallas leading by 12. Doncic outside. The pass to Bullock. He's looking for Dinwiddie and finds him. Pistons five. I mean, second personal foul. Team second. At the line for the Mavericks. Dinwiddie. Spencer. Dinwiddie. At the line for two. Two. 
the free throw drops for Dinwiddie. And both free throws good for Dinwiddie. Pistons trailed by 14. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now here's Bay. Defense right on him. The Mavericks have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Doncic has got 11 points here in just the second half. Luka Doncic showing you right there he can play without the basketball. Ready on the catch. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Stolen by Bullock. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. And Doncic gets it to go. Doncic has got 19 points. Well, we're talking about one of the league's best scorers. And the confidence Luka Doncic has in himself to take over is readily on display. Now here's Bay. Looking to end the run. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. Yeah, just foul. nice strength there. And First then just foul. off with the shot. At the line for your Pistons. Boyan Bogdanovich. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. Here's Dallas. They're on a 15 to 6 run. Doncic kicks to Dinwiddie. Doncic passes to Bullock. Here's Finney Smith. Launches a three. The rebound by Ivy. Here's Bay. He's now made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Pass to Bullock. This one for three. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got five assists tonight. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Trying to snap them out of this. Pistons trail by 18. To the middle. Here's Bay. And the layup fall. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Passes it to Bullock. Doncic with it. He's on him. And Doncic gets it to go. Doncic has got 21 in the game. Well, the ability to work around the defense and get himself free for a shot despite being in the paint. That is a beautiful play by Luka. There's the pass to Bay. He kicks to Ivy. Just five to shoot. Pass to Hayes. From deep. That one doesn't go. And it's Dallas the other way. Now, Doncic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. So technical fouls have been an issue for Luka Doncic since he entered the league. First of all, you love his passion. But I think you've seen real progress in this regard. And that's because you understand. If you're Luka Doncic, you need to play high minutes for your team. No good on that. And the Pistons making a change here. Durin's checked in. He 
hits the second from the line. Pistons trailed by 19. Pass to Ivan. Bay with it. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And catch and release, not just about fishing. Sadiq Bay last season with the fourth most catch and shoot triples made in the NBA. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Greg, you were talking about how Bay is always in motion. He's always working so well off the ball, isn't he? He is, Kevin. One of the league leaders in ground covered over the course of the season. And with all his minutes played, you know he's in tip-top shape. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. It's an 18-point lead. Finney Smith kicks to Dinwiddie. Over Ivy. Dinwiddie's shot is off. Detroit's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. To the right side. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Back to Hayes. And Hayes throws it down. I love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big time play. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Here's Hayes. Nice D from Doncic. Dallas leading by 18. Kicks to Bullock. the pass to Powell. Shot clock at six. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Kelly. It's going to go on Killian Hayes. Now Powell really using that length of his to draw fouls. Great anticipation from the young pig. For Dallas. Powell to White Powell. Taking two shots. And that one misses. Bagley, he's checked in for Duran. And the second free throw, good. Pistons trailed by 19. Now a timeout called by Detroit. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. Hay kicks to Hayes. Loud pass to Bagley. And finish off by Bagley. And you can tell Bagley knows his strengths on offense and does a great job playing to them. Two minutes remaining. Now here's Bullock. He is covered by Bogdanovich. Six to shoot. Doncic finds foul. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Third personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for Dallas. Holler to White Pop. Two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first.
That free throw missing. So he can't get either to fall. Pistons trail by 17. Hayes with it, defended by Dinwiddie. Doncic, bounce pass. Pass to Finney Smith. And here is Powell. Doncic outside. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Dallas. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one, a terrific night for Luka Doncic. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. Fires from deep. And they recover it. The momentum continues to go their way. Pretty much the story of the game. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Donjic outside. So no problem for Dallas as they get the win That's to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight. It says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you.